Hi there, my name's Tim. One of my roles at the Wood Source is purchasing lumber. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about lumber today and what's going on in Canada and North America in regards to pressure treated and seeded lumber. Brought my little thermostat with me from the mill. He's happy, I'm not so happy. 31 degrees Celsius, 50 degrees humidity. We're feeling it out here. So back in March, COVID hit and it had a dramatic impact on the lumber industry in North America. First of all, um, supply sort of dried up. A lot of people came and stopped uh, working in the forest. A lot of stores were very nervous and didn't buy anything. And when COVID turned out to be not quite as bad as we thought, uh, people started purchasing again. So we had a situation where um, supply was very low from the forest forward and demand started to become very high. We fortunately had taken a strong position in the uh, late fall of 2019 and had decent supply of lumber to get us going. But mills were talking to me in March and they were you know, sort of begging me to give orders and fortunately I did give some orders then. Those same mills, if I call today looking for product, they'll say, uh, yeah, we'd be happy to get you something. It's gonna be 90 or 120 days out. This has affected price. So um, cedar is sort of a small uh, niche product in the BC forest industry where white woods are much bigger. The US industry slowed down and picked up Canadian dollar took a dive, so cedar has become much more expensive because the Canadian dollar has dipped and demand has increased. Many of the cedar mills we buy from are only running two or three days a week at the most because they have, don't have good log supply. Two reasons for the log supply dry up. One, the BC government put a high stumpage fee on logs uh, in the first two quarters of this year. Beginning of July, um, loggers were betting that the stumpage fee would come down, so they didn't do much logging in May or June. And in July, the stumpage feed did come down and the loggers are keen to get back in the forest and start logging again. Another problem, BC is usually dry, hot and has forest fires. This time out west is very, very wet. One of our mills has had a number of washouts and bridges taken out as they try and get back in the forest to start logging. So this has slowed things down. So down the pipeline, we'll have good supply of cedar. In the short term, there is a shortage as you people know in both the cedar market and the pressure treated market. We wanna thank you, our customer, for uh, supporting us and helping us during this time. Our business has changed dramatically. It takes us longer to serve each customer and um, you have probably experienced some frustrations. We've gone from an organization that would take maybe two to 300 phone calls a day to take 600 phone calls a day. This unprecedented demand has caused problems for us and some of you have not had the service you're used to getting here and we apologize for that. We've done and are doing everything we can to alleviate that. We've hired many new people. As you can imagine, trying to train people during these days is very difficult. Trying to train someone on machinery from two meters, on computer systems, on logistics, is all very time consuming. So again, difficult times. We are blessed and very thankful for all the business you're giving to us and the support you give to us. We are trying our best to meet what you, your needs and wants and uh, things will um, become better in the coming six to eight weeks as those logs start getting into our mills out west and then on to trucks here. In the meantime, we're doing everything we can to meet your demand. And we hope that you're keeping safe and we do again thank you for your business. Have a great weekend. Bye.